going to see it restored. Um, I, I would take issue with the idea that this skew of power towards executive power is um, based largely in what happened after September um, 11, 2001. And I think John referred to the vice president making these remarks the week after the inauguration. I think this was really a goal, certainly of the vice president, to um, uh, build up executive power. And the, what happened in September 2001 made that much more possible. I believe, but I, I don't believe it's simply a consequence of that. And what we're seeing as we're seeing balance being restored is the great advantage a hierarchical executive branch has over a vertical um, legislative branch. And so, you know, it's not going to be a pretty process watching this happen. Say a little bit more about that, the, advan the advantage that the executive power has in this constant struggle of the branches? Well, if you just look at any of the, if you look at some of the executive privilege uh, battles that are going on right now, you, you, you have the president direct an executive branch official uh, not to testify, or not to pro provide documents, done. Congress has to, uh, you've got the committee structure, if you're going to vote contempt in the committee, then you've got to get a vote um, on the floor in the Senate. That means a supermajority. You, in any event, when we're talking about this, the, the, the line of, of between partisan bickering and um, legitimate oversight, it's, it's not as if there's one person who's directing uh, what there will be and whether there will be partisan bickering and who's getting face time on, on, the, on the news about it. So it's, I think it's, it's, it's certainly not, <laughs> having been in, in the White House and, and the executive branch, I don't mean to suggest that um, it, that's a pure system and that there aren't outliers and lots of trouble controlling message. Um, there can be, but I think it's much more complicated for Congress to, that Congress is not, you know, one thing or one person. And so it, it's harder for Congress to calibrate its strategy in the struggle between the branches. Um, and, and Congressman Scott as well, you know, individual congressmen may think we should go slow here, but if uh, there's one person racing ahead, then uh, that tends to set the pace for the committee and for the uh, House of Congress and ultimately for the Congress. I think there is um, a natural, uh, you know, the framers were brilliant and so Every day you see the natural tension and balance between the executive and the, and the legislative branches. Um, but there has been a shift. I strongly agree with Walter that because members of Congress don't see themselves first as congressmen, but instead see themselves as Republicans or Democrats, you, don't have, you didn't have during the uh, first six years of the Bush administration as much congressional oversight as there should have been. I mean,